So, you've arrived. Huh. <laughs> Earlier than expected, too. Yes, we've come for you, Rufus. Did you really think those two from Ouroboros would hold us up for long? It doesn't matter. They've fulfilled their role. The only thing we require for the rivalry is the Ashen Awakener. Everyone else is none of our concern. The Azure Awakener included. <laughs> the Sword of the End still has a role to play, however. Campanella and Mariabel were to thin out your ranks, but they didn't even use their Ion against you. How disappointing. How could you? Man, say what you really mean, why don't you? This guy has textbook villain written all over him. Ouroboros has their own priorities, and we have ours. We can't expect outsiders to be fully invested in our plans, after all. Yes, I suppose that's true. Their organization is only interested in observation. Further cooperation may not be necessary. Today's just full of interesting info, huh? That's a topic for another time, perhaps. The wings stolen from the Steel Maiden's Divine Knight. The Auric Knight has completely absorbed them now. That power was rightfully won by the Ashen Knight. It should have gone to Valimar. Rufus Alborea, Knight of Blood and Iron. The man before me is no brother of mine. Interrupting a duel at the last minute. And for your own selfish reasons. Have you no honor? He did the same thing back when he killed Grianos at the Infernal Castle. You're pretty messed up for someone who's supposed to be the noblest of nobles. <laughs> I can't deny it. But even so, noble blood still runs through my veins. Banter aside, I had a war to manage on top of my duties as a knight of blood and iron. Surely you can't fault me for picking the most efficient course of action. Oh, and by the way, I'm happy you were able to recover Milium, even if she is simply a projection from the sword. <clears throat> How dare you! It's okay, guys. He's not wrong, you know. Sup, Rufus? Long time no see! Yes. You certainly surprised all of us back at the Grawl. But I'm happy, as a fellow Ironblood, that we were able to meet again. Although, I imagine my joy pales in comparison to Claire or Lecter's. Aw, don't sweat it. We didn't really have that many chances to hang out anyway. <sighs> Milliam, you're definitely one of a kind. I think you're being a bit too cheerful given the situation. Sorry to interrupt, but I believe this will have to do for our banter. We should begin the preparations now. Ideally, this would have taken place during the Great Twilight's climax. But I suppose it may work out yet. Should you lose to Lord Rufus, he will obtain the Sword of the End, allowing us to be fully prepared for the final rivalry. Sorry, but that's not how it's going to go. You seem pretty confident that Rufus will win. No. Maybe it's not Rufus you place your faith in, but the Auric Knight. Oh? It's true that the Auric Knight has seemingly limitless potential, just like the Argent Knight. You see, the Divine Knights may appear to be equally powerful, but there is a hierarchy among them. They have engaged in many battles over the past centuries, each time being wiped from the annals of history. All as practice for the true rivalry of the Seven. The only knight that did not participate was the Ebon Knight. It may interest you to know that even if a Divine Knight is destroyed, with time it will regenerate. Their Awakeners, however, often end up as undead abominations. Nosferatu. Do you remember the field of endless blades you witnessed during your trial below Thor's? Each sword marked a Divine Knight's defeat, the grave of yet another of its Awakeners. I can't 
can't believe it. So that's what they were. In all the battles that occurred, two knights emerged victorious far more often than their brethren. Their strength is second only to the Ebon Knights. Surely by now you must know which ones I refer to, correct? They were, of course, the Auric Knight, brilliant as the sun, and the Argent Knight, which glows like the moon. Following them was the Crimson Demon with a thousand weapons, the Vermilion Knight. Compared to such supremely powerful machines, the Azure, Palatinate, and Ashen Knights are nothing. Where does this guy get off? Kind of pisses me off to hear him trash talk Ordeen like that. It's true that the kind of energy it gives off feels completely different from the others. And now that it has the Argent Knight's powers as well. <laughs> Precisely. You made a grave error in not properly absorbing the Azure Knight's energy. In your current state, you won't be able to make full use of the Palatinate and Vermilion Knight's powers. Frankly, I didn't have high expectations for Prince Cedric's ability to use the Vermilion Knight. It makes things more convenient for us now that you've absorbed its power as well. You just say whatever you want, don't you? But you don't have a damn clue what we're capable of. Class 7's been through so many crucial moments together. Everything we did in the Civil War, the Grawl of Erebos. And in the course of those events, we lost some of our dearest friends. Yet despite that, we never gave up. We challenged foes we had no hope of defeating, getting help along the way whenever we needed it. No matter how hard it was, and even if it was only small steps, we kept moving forward all the same. Yeah, and the new Class 7 is following in your footsteps! No. You've already caught up to us, Yuna. Instead of walking in our shadow, you walk with us as equals. Optimism, perseverance, and cooperation are what give us... No. They're what gives humanity true strength. Technology doesn't mean anything on its own. Without human hearts to guide it, it's nothing more than steel and circuits. Once the Great Twilight is over, you say you want to create a world ruled by the Black Workshop. But if there isn't any heart in this cold world you want to make, then what's the point? I'm sure when you made me and Tilly, you never expected us to have feelings. But we went way beyond what you expected. We pretty much became humans. Yes, I believe this applies to Kia as well. And it all points to one thing. Right. We create meaning in our lives by our interactions with others. And it's the bonds between people that shape the world. The world you want to create is one completely under the Ebon Knight's control. A world where the inhabitants, like the gnomes, are enslaved to a higher power without wills of their own where people can't find meaning in their lives by struggling and helping each other to move forward. But is there really any meaning to a life like that? That same tired rhetoric. Actually, I believe I agree with that. Still, don't think yourselves unique. I have experienced my own fair share of hardship and struggle. And ultimately, I have no plans to serve anyone either. Not the Ebon Knight, nor Chancellor Osborn. My path is clear. I will be the one to surpass my father. The Holy Sword of Vishnard. That's one of the twin blades the Alborea family used to slay Nosferatu in ages past. Uses, you too? Is that the other one? Ah, so Arnaud delivered the Holy Sword of Elvars to you. This is simply perfect. We can have ourselves one more sparring match before the rivalry. <sighs> Do as you wish, but we must begin our preparations. Zora Fowler! The original combat shell! 
That's right. Even Estelle and the others had a tough time dealing with it. It pains me to see what's become of you, Father. But I still believe in the love that you had for Mother and me. So I'll prove it. Right here and now, I'll prove to you that your love was not a lie. <laughs> Stubborn as ever, Ms. Reinford. You leave me no... <sighs> You leave me no choice but to snuff out that foolish hope of yours for good. To prove to you that my master is this world's only truth. Not Chancellor Osborne, nor the Lionheart Emperor. No, I will serve Ishmelga to the very end. This will be it, Eusis. Your last opportunity to challenge me before I transcend humanity. Now, let us cross blades! Wait, does he mean... No way! <laughs> you damn fool! <laughs> Allow me to grant you eternal despair. Now come. Show us what you're capable of! Arcus, activate! Ha! Ha! Not on my watch! <laughs> Damn you! Leave it to me! Let's go! I'm up! <sighs> Take this! <laughs> Heavenly Thunder! <coughs> Boy! No! My turn! Yeah! Appreciate it. Ha I'm up. Crimson Slash. <laughs> now. It's mine. Very well. Yeah. I appreciate it. Zodiac Force! My turn! Arc is activated! How could this be? Good luck! Thanks! Here I go! Yeah! <laughs> you have my thanks. Twilight Lightning! Burn through! It's my turn! <sighs> it's my turn! Set! Striker! <sighs> Shining Light! Cut through! Very well. <clears throat> uh, satanic claw! <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Yeah!
So a Balor, strike! It's my turn! Uh, yeah! I'm up! <laughs> Eternally flowing. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. First! Second! Third! Fourth! Fifth! Sixth! This is my secret weapon! Holy light! Gather in my bow! Take this! Gabriel Arrow! Repent for your sins! Nuh-uh! Holy flame! Ha! Ya! Hey, shit! Very well. On your knees! Here I go! You got this! Watch and learn. All right. Sure. Hmm. I catch it. Yeah. So a Balor strike. My turn. Brace yourself! <clears throat> Arrogant fools! Don't think you've won yet! Moving out! Eternally flowing. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. First! Second! Third! Fourth! Fifth! Sixth! Thanks. All right. Not on my watch. Shining light. Cut through. Sure. <laughs> Here I come! My turn! Sorry, I'll handle the rest! Our 
Focus, activate! My turn! Time to kick things up a notch! My turn! There! There! I'm up! Emptiness. Emptiness is for first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight leaves, breaking dawn! <laughs> what will you make of this? Behold, the advent of your demise. Perish! Luciferian art! It's my turn. Now! You're wide open! Pathetic fools! Alright! Moving out! <laughs> Not bad at all. Show me more. Leave it to me. Arcus, activate. <laughs> I hope you're prepared for this. It's my turn. <laughs> my turn. It's time I fought in earnest. Carve this into your flesh. Agrius Caliber! I'll treat you immediately. Thanks. I got your back! <laughs> you have my thanks. I can't lose. Divine shield, protect us! I'm up! Shit! I see! Alright! Arcus, activate! I'm going! There! <laughs> Now! An opening! 
strengthening. Ka. It's my turn. Yeah. Thanks. Not on my watch. My turn. It's come to this. Let's go. Arcus, activate. Ha. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Swiftly! Sigma operation! Yes! Arcus, activate! My turn! Showtime! Leave it to me. Yeah. Thanks. I'm going. Huh? Moving out. Judgment time. Eat this. It's my turn! Huh. It's down! Attack! It's my turn! <laughs> yeah! I'm up! Shit! It's down! Let's go, everyone! Yes. No problem! Leave it to me! To me. There! <laughs> All right. Yes. Huh? Shine light. Cut through. Uh -huh. Back at you. It's my turn. It's my turn. Arcus, activate! It's my turn! Huh. Now! Attack! <laughs> it's my turn! Arcus, activate! What? Back at you! Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I got your back. <laughs> you have my thanks. There. Moving out. <laughs> I'm going. Arcus, activate. <laughs> I'm up! It's my turn! <laughs> now! You're wide open! Alright! It's my turn! Arcus, activate! It's time I fought in earnest! <laughs> Damn you! I'll treat you immediately! Thanks! It's my turn! Arcus, activate! There! Ha! It's 
eternally flow. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eight leads. Breaking dawn! Brace yourself! Blinding light, gather in my blade! Iolus Saber! All right, let's do this! Blade of Darkness, cleave my foes! See you in Gehenna! Warful! Slayer! Answer my- Shining light, cut through! Holy flame! Hey, Get Give me a break! Everyone! It's my turn! I can't lose! Thank you. I'm up. Leave it to me. I'm going there. Moving out. I see. We're low on time. Let's move. Uh -huh. I did it! All right! Got it! Yeah, I did it! <laughs> A matter of course. Uh, I did it! <laughs> Yay, I did it! <laughs> I did it! That's how it's done! It's happening! The rivalry is starting! <sighs> What's going on? I... I am... Um, no, I'm... Lisa? What's happening? No! I am forever a loyal servant of Ishmelga! I am Black Alberic! I have no need of you, Franz Reinford! Father? Could it be losing its hold on him? Ah, what a pitiful sight when the puppet has been cut loose from the puppeteer's strings. Perhaps the Ebon Knight can no longer be bothered to divide its attention when the end is so near. Come forth, El Prado, the Auric Knight! As you command. Heed my call! 
Balamar, the Ashen Knight! Come! Ordeen, the Azure Knight! Acknowledged. This will be the last rivalry before the battle that will decide this world's fate. Once I've proven victorious here, I will hold the power of all the Divine Knights you've defeated, as well as the Sword of the End. Then, I will discard my life and become an immortal. I knew it. Damn it. Finally. I will challenge my father and surpass him at long last. Only then will I be able to prove my life was worth more than that of an unwanted bastard child. I will be the one who decides the meaning of my existence! Reen, please stop him! I will. Just leave it to me. Let us bring this to a close. All of it! It's my turn! <laughs> It's my turn. Ha! 
It's my turn! Shit! It's down! And open it! Ah! 
Let's go! It's my turn. Be restored. All right. Showtime. They're down. Okay, okay. All, together all together now. now. Yes. Got it. Turn. I hope this helps. My turn. There! You're wide open! It's my turn! Let's get them! They're mine! It's my turn! Not going down that easy. Darkness, sunder them! There! Okay, okay. All, together all together now. now. Yes! Leave it to me! Got it! That's how it's done! Yeah, I did it! Yes. You've been defeated, Rufus. <laughs> I had the Auric Knight, the strength of the Argent Knight, and the fortress's power. It should have been impossible for your friends to win. Usus, members of Class 7, please, tell me why.
It's because you refuse to rely on anyone but yourself. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. You had people you could have relied on, but you chose not to. Despite your issues with House Alborea, your bond with Eusis was real at least. But still, you shut him out. You chose to walk this path all by yourself. And you didn't even rely on the other Ironbloods. That's the legacy you've made for yourself. Being just too good to need anyone else. In a mindset like that, it's just not healthy at all. You've pulled string after string to keep Crossbell under your thumb. But that was only a temporary measure. What kind of future would that lead to? Yes. In governing Crossbell, you relied mainly on deception and force. Though they served you well the past few years, they are brittle tools that break easily. You can't rely on them forever. Couldn't have said it better myself. No matter your methods, there is only so much you can accomplish alone. Yep. Your approach is pretty much the opposite of Prince Oliver's. It's true. <laughs> I can't argue with that. At least, contributing to the formation of Class 7 was one of the few things I can be proud of. I imagine that once I fall unconscious, you'll discover the fortress's garden has changed. There, you'll find a path to the very core of this fortress. The blazing demon waits for you. He will be your most difficult battle yet. Prove to me you have the strength to see this through to the end. And what lies beyond is the final rivalry. <laughs> to think it's nearly over after all this time. In the end, I was nothing but a fraud, inferior in every way to their real sons. <sighs> we'll take care of it from here. Please rest, brother. However, before you do so, I need to knock some sense back into you. <sighs> Go on then. Thank you. 